Hi, Headset Historian here, back with another historic video. So today I'm going to show you how to sideload Android applications onto your Pimax Crystal. One thing to be aware of is that not all Android applications will work with the Pimax Crystal. I believe that most should, but any Android applications that require Google Play services will not work. So for example, any Google applications such as Maps, Sheets, Docs, they won't work because they rely on that Google Play services. So your mileage may vary, but I think the majority of applications you should be fine with unless they you know, are directly from Google or they're based on a Google account or something like that. So let's get started. Step one is download an APK that you would like to install onto your Pimax Crystal. So for this use case, I'm going to download the Steam Link APK. I'm not sure if this actually works or not. It'll be interesting to try it out, but I'm gonna download the Steam Link application. I'm downloading from APK Mirror. Disclaimer, I'm not sure if this website is safe or not, so I'm not gonna recommend any websites where you can download APKs. Some developers release the APKs directly. That's always the best way to go about it. And then there's also APK Mirror websites like this, APK Mirror, APK Pure is another one. But again, I don't know if these websites are legitimate or not. I imagine they're fine, but do your own research before you download any APKs to make sure you're safe. Step two, get ADB. This link will be in the description below. This is where we'll download ADB, which is a software that we'll use to sideload our application. So download it for the relevant platform that you're on. In this case, I'm using Windows. So I'll click on that. I'll accept the user agreement and then I'll download it. Step three, extract the folder. Once you have that file downloaded, you'll see that it's a zip file. So wherever you download it, right click on it, click extract all and follow the steps there. You'll then get an extracted folder. Then we want to go into the folder that has adb.exe. Within here, you should drag your APK that you've previously downloaded into here. So for me, that's this steam.apk. Quick note, a lot of the time when you're downloading it from websites, it has a very long name. So I would rename this to something nice and easy. It'll make your next few steps a bit simpler. So I've renamed this to steam.apk, nice and simple. So now we're in this folder, we have adb. .exe and we also have the APK that we want to install onto our Pimax crystal. Step five, plug in your crystal. So just simply connect your crystal to your PC with a USB-C cable. Make sure that your USB-C cable is plugged into the side port on your Pimax crystal. There's multiple USB-C ports on the Pimax crystal, but it needs to be that side port for this to work. Step six is hold down shift and right click somewhere within the folder that's blank, like around here. So hold down shift, right click, and then click open PowerShell here. Now we can see that we have a command prompt within that folder that has adb.exe and R. Step seven is confirm adb is working and detecting the crystal. We can do this by typing in dot slash adb devices. And we'll see here that my device is detected and here's the number for it. So if you're seeing multiple devices in your list then you may have perhaps your phone's plugged in and charging or you know something else so just unplug any other Android devices that you may have attached to your computer and once you see only one thing left in the list that should be your crystal also you don't need to turn on developer mode or anything like that within the crystal and you don't need to you know give any permissions within the crystal it should just work straight away so we've now confirmed that ADB is working and that it's detecting the crystal so the last step is simply to install the APK. So we do dot slash ADB install and then the name of your APK. So in my case, that's steam.apk. It's important to type in dot APK, even if it doesn't show up in your folder, you need to type in the full name of the file. So then hit enter, say performing streamed install. This will take a moment depending on the size of the file. Here it says success, and I heard a sound go on the Pimax crystal, like a little confirmation chime. So then we can take a look inside the Pimax crystal itself and see that the application is now there in the library alongside all other applications that you've installed, such as games you've installed from the Pimax store or Firefox browser that comes installed by default. So unlike Quest, for example, where it goes off to a hidden folder, it seems to not be the case on the Pimax Crystal. And that's it. You can launch your application. Your mileage will vary, like I mentioned, as to how well it's gonna work. 
So some applications work just fine. For example, I tested Plex for just streaming videos and stuff and that worked just fine. Other use cases you might want to consider might be perhaps, um, you know, Netflix or reading books. You might want to install some sort of book reader so you can read books on your Pimax Crystal or whatever else you want to do. There's a lot of Android applications out there for a lot of different use cases. So, you know, I'm sure everyone can think of different things that they might want to do with this. So I hope this was useful. And if you had any issues trying to go through these steps, do let me know. I have a step-by-step -step list of things to do within the description along with any relevant links, such as where to download ADB tools. And I hope this was useful and yeah, hopefully it worked for you. Take care and have a good day.